Well, hello and welcome back to my study. The last couple of days we've uh, thought through, um, uh, first of all, what's it like to receive bad news? The se- uh, and then we thought about uh, what is it like to receive a warning, a kind warning? Uh, today I'd like us to think about pride, because the first warning in Isaiah chapter 9, second half of chapter 9, is about pride. What I'd like you to do is hit pause and think about what you understand by the word pride or proud. Well, to be proud of something, there's all sorts of meanings, aren't there? So you can take pride in your work because you know you've done a good job. You can be proud of, of your child. We're very proud of Joshua sometimes when he does some some good work or is really kind to somebody or has worked hard and and some of those some of those sorts of pride proud uh, of pride are okay aren't they it's okay to to say well done to somebody but but being proud having pride also has a darker side doesn't it uh, being proud of yourself um in, in a bad way is to to think that kind of you're all that isn't it you're 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 that you're god's gift to the earth or you have achieved everything in your own strength and that's a worry isn't it for christians when we think that we've worked something we've achieved something all by ourselves because we know that's not true really don't we we know that we are completely reliant on God for our lives, but also for everything that we, uh, we we achieve in our lives. Actually, we don't achieve things, do we at all? It's it's God who who works His purpose out through us. He's the one who who's doing it. And yes, we we uh, work and do things uh, in, in our lives. Uh, in his strength and and we're responsible for for doing things well but it's his strength that allows us to do things back in Isaiah's time God's people were not acknowledging God for giving them all the good things that they had in their lives they thought that they had built their uh, their their nation themselves They thought that it was the works of their hands that had brought them prosperity, that had given them strength. They'd forgotten, hadn't they, that it was God who'd given them the land in the first place, that their ancestors had been slaves in Egypt. It was God who'd rescued them from there and had taken them through the wilderness to the promised land. It was God who'd built up their kingdom for them. Do you remember those promises that uh, God had given to David and the strength and the wisdom he'd given to Solomon? This is all God's work. And yet the people were taking credit for it. And that's bad pride. Taking credit for the things that only God has achieved. And that's a bad thing because God requires that he receives all the glory all the all the credit due to him and all the praise due to him for the things that he has done he will not allow us to think that he had no part or had a bit part in our lives so he warned the people of judah in a slightly backwards way, we'll, we'll find out on Sunday how he did that warning. But he warns the people of Judah not to be proud. Because, as the saying goes, pride, become, pride comes before what? A fall, doesn't it? And that's not because we believe in fate. That's because we believe in God. That God will bring down the proud. But he's a gracious God who warns us that... Uh, he he will bring down those who are proud, including us, including me, if I'm proud. So here's a thing to think about today. Do we give God the credit due to him for the good things that we have in our lives? 
Or do we take the credit for ourselves? Because if we're taking the credit for ourselves, we're being prideful, we're being proud. If we give the credit to God, we're thanking him and we're praising him for his goodness and his kindness to us. I wonder where we fall on that one. I flip flop between the two. I have to come back to God regularly and say, I'm sorry, I've I've taken the credit for something that that's completely your doing. I wonder if you do that too. I wonder if you need to come back to God like I do to say sorry for that and, and to recognise him for his goodness and kindness to you, like I have uh, to do that, for his goodness and kindness to me. Shall I pray for us? And I'll see you again tomorrow. Let me pray. Father, we are sorry when we are proud, when we take the credit for the good things that you've given to us in our lives. Please would you help us to be those people who praise you and thank you for your goodness and your strength and your kindness towards us. And please, Father, would we uh, would, would we sing your praises? Would we pray praises to you for all that you have done for us? In Jesus name we pray. Amen. See you tomorrow.